Today we're at the church. We're gonna be replacing a culvert that's been all smashed right out by the road. So I'm pretty excited about this. Wonderful day, last day of November. Wonderful, wonderful day, looking forward to it. Let's get started. That's an eight inch in there. AT&T didn't mark it, but. Okay, so we got an eight inch pipe in there and we're replacing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're hoping not to dig much is what right. you're saying. Right. But I think it'll fall back in there, what you're saying. Yeah, we can clean it out. Intended to use the backhoe to dig this out. There's a crust down about that far, and then once you get below that, it's kind of loose. What I found over here. Okay. But I'm not sure, but what I shouldn't just use the bucket like this. You guys think the existing pipe is crushed or yeah, just? Yeah, I know it is. Okay. Schooler and I worked on this a couple of years ago. And didn't fix it? No. We yeah. opened it up a little bit. That's about the right though. This is one of those times that uh, you don't want to tilt the bucket too far down. Um, I always talk about back dragging as being risky to those cylinders, but it's actually probably even more so pushing forward when you have it tilted too far. Am I at the pipe there? That's it. Where it's been crushed, probably. This is not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. We even brought the ripper tooth for the backhoe, thinking that it would be harder than the backhoe could dig, but if I can scrape it up with the loader, it's not really very hard at all. Now I can dig in there better, Brian. I got a bigger one. I don't know, I think if we just loosen it. Yeah. Nice pipe. That's the pipe I'm hitting way up there? Yeah. I suspect I'm gonna to have to dig out in there to dig that thing up. That's rock, That's isn't concrete. it? I think it is. Rock? Yeah. Does it need to come out? It's up, no, if you get over beside it. Get on the other side of the rock, I don't think it's, unless, Where is, it's, unless yeah. it's on top of it and crush it, because the pipe's kind of right going this way. It's way over there. Yeah. Well, then I've actually pushed the, this to the wrong side, haven't I? That's what it, it looks like. Probably that rock was there and they didn't want my Straight. white stripe was way back here, see? Yeah. Well, we, when we pull that out, we ought to pull that pipe over a little bit, like like right here. We'd have to get that rock out then, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so maybe I just need to get the back over here and get that rock out. And then see if I can pull that pipe up. How far out does the pipe, I guess, I guess we don't really know, because we thought it was over here. Well, yeah, we I think it's probably right in here. And what stopped it up before is we got this on the front end of it here now. Yeah. Should have brought an orange cone or two. I want to be able to grab that rock first. Just like that. Not bad, huh? Ah, that's 
It's a three hundred dollar rock right there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull this pipe up. I believe it was broken here. Oh, part of it may be my outrigger. Just like that. Had a guy just ask the other day about moving the machine with the backhoe. I've shown it a bunch of times on this channel, but apparently some people still haven't seen it. So I'll show it again. Can, uh, can we try to get it into the bucket? Just hold it steady while I go back. Just like that. I not got it balanced good, do I? I was trying to get it to go that way a little bit. I'm trying yeah. to not make you guys do it, but I'd rather do it myself. <laughs> I thought it was heavy enough. That's what my doctor tells me. You need more cheeseburgers. Probably about right there somewhere, right? That's sort of balanced. Now what are we going to do with this? Use a sawzall and put it in the dumpster one piece at a time. I mean, I hate to keep it around here, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, ideally, if we had a dumpster, it'd be great. We can put it in our dumpster, but we'll have to cut it and we'll have to get the dirt out of it to have a hope of them taking it. Can you take a home hole? I'll come out and cut it up for you. Yeah, we might be able to get a home hole. All right. You think the three of us can get it on our trailer? Because I can't pick it up much more than this. Yeah, maybe I can. Raise his hand up. Oh, you're doing great work. Can you hold it up, the two of you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you still want to let that. Okay. It's heavy. Now I'll take the loader bucket and try to push it on a little more. Look at that, it's just the right angle too. I, I, I work <laughs> for right <on> that. now. <laughs> Probably a good time for me to kind of explain to you guys what, what's going on here. Um, this original pipe, it, it actually angled toward the road I suspect at some point the, the, the city or county, whoever's come along and put some rock along the road um, to try to just make it so that it's not too, not too far off the, uh, the, the road, you know, not, not too deep of a ledge. Well, the end of the pipe got covered up. So with the end of the pipe covered up, the rest of the pipe filled up. We thought it had collapsed, but I think it was just totally full of mud and really had no place to go. So what we're gonna do is we've got the laser out and we're gonna to try to create ourselves a trench here. We'll create this trench that's gonna be level with the lowest spot up there so that we don't leave any water standing up there. Now, I realize a lot of you that are in hill country are gonna say, what do you mean up there? It all looks flat. Of course it all looks flat, but an inch or two makes a lot of difference here in, in, in the flatlands. So we're gonna make sure that we get that culvert where it just catches all that water and is essentially level this way because we don't have much slope even toward the camera there and then we're gonna dig out a little bit of that ditch. Up here, it's probably okay, isn't it? Do you think, or do I need to dig some up here too? Yeah, I think we need to start it up here. Okay. Just to clean it out.
can't see our line. We need to dig off the back side here. Yeah. Is that back far enough? Yeah. Me and that tree have a bad history. That's the one where I broke the $1,700 mirror on my truck. And I just hit it again. You need to cut the side there more, don't you? Huh? I need to cut that side a little bit. Well, I don't know how deep we are right here. Let's get a reading right here. Mike, okay. Right there and see if we're Part of the problem here was that the water has no place to go after it gets out of the pipe. Once we get closer to the camera and behind the camera, we have a, a bit more slope. So I'm going to dig this ditch out uh, a little bit deeper here for the first few feet. I'm not doing a perfect job, but not too worried about it. As long as I can get water to flow out of there, we'll be fine. I decided to put that sod right up beside the driveway. You might not see it there, but there's about a foot of drop-off there beside the driveway. Easily enough to handle that extra That's sod. That's level right there. Is that, is that where you want it? Well, we want to drop just a little bit. You think it's pretty close? Yeah. Okay, all the way along here? Looks like I'm high right here, doesn't it? Believe it or not, that's almost level to that end right here. Oh, okay, so we need to fill in. A little close. Maybe a half inch high. Low. Half inch high? Low. Low? Low, yeah. Okay, so we don't need any more dugout for sure. Looks pretty. Yeah, half an inch. Keep going. What is that? Half inch? Yeah. Are we happy with this end or is that too high, Chuck? This very end right here is a little high. Okay. Okay, just right here. All right. Can you hold the pipe, Chuck? Stay right there, Brian. Okay. I may have had one more rock in there. To... Okay, so why don't you reset your level here? Here. Okay. So about a quarter inch high right there. Yeah. A little high right there. A little high right here. Okay. A little high right here. Okay, and it's okay to be just a tad bit low. That's yep. good. I'm happy. I'm good. This, you happy? Is this good? Yeah. Stand on it while you fill it, Chuck. Let me. I'm I've, probably the I got heaviest. Foot down the bottom. At least with one foot. Yeah. Hey, yeah. if you'll just get just a few areas of it covered. Yeah. I'll do it with the loader. If you want to, we get ready to fill the area in, Chuck and I'll stand on each side. Oh, okay. Because I'm heavy enough. <laughs> doctor told me it was. Uh, uh, mean doctor. Yeah, come on in here, Chuck. I'm not gonna bury you, I promise. Brian said that this particular pipe was rated at 40,000 pounds per axle. So we shouldn't have any risk of it being crushed. your hour. I moved it, didn't I? Well, I don't know how much. Dropped under. 
Give me an opening to the top right there. I didn't think my bucket was digging in at all. That's level right there. I don't Good. think. Good. Okay. Just a hair low I just here. didn't, we just don't have much on it, do we? No. That's the reason I dug in, because I didn't, yeah, just didn't have much, much there. Give me a little bit right here. good uh you think so yeah yeah keep people running over for now i'll pack this sod down with the tractor tires it's not a perfect solution it'll be a little bit rough we'll see how it looks next spring we may need to bring vinnie out and get it sloped properly and seed it again <laughs> Hey Chuck, we have a chuck hole. <laughs> Couldn't resist that one, could you? Couldn't resist that. This is some of that slag, I believe. Yeah, that's good stuff when it sets. It's amazing what a back drag of a loader can do. People get all hung up on all the different attachments you can get for this type of work. It's hard to beat a loader and a backhoe. Well, old guys construction has done it again. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, guys. Good looking job. And it comes with a warranty. That's good. At least till you get home, right? If we mess it up, we'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, I, we've got a little bit of a drainage issue down through there. I've dug out part of that ditch. Um, I don't know if I dug far enough. It may not be perfect there, but hey, this was fun. and. Mm -hmm. uh, it went probably easier than I expected. Yeah, easier than I thought, yeah. Uh, great, Turned great management, nice. you guys, so. Uh, <laughs> hey. Turned out well. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim. What do workers gain from their toil? I've seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Oh yeah, that's got to work a lot better. <laughs>